Moving the Haas mill table. Very simple, you have three different things you have to select. Number one is going to be getting into handle jog mode and picking which increment that you want to move in, picking the axes, and then actually moving the handle jog dial. First, hit the handle jog button to go into handle jog mode. Then you want to decide, do I want to move in tenths, one thou increments, 10 thou increments, or 100 thou increments. As a beginner, I would highly suggest not even touching the 100 thou increments. That's because it will move very fast and you might end up breaking an end mill, chipping a tool, running into your table, running into a fixture, and so on. If you're just moving the table around, I would use 10 thou increments, and if you're touching off tools or sweeping in parts, I would use 1 thou and 1 tenth increments. So we're gonna choose handle jog, 10 thou increments, and the very next thing we want to do is choose which axes that we want to move in. All right, now we can choose between Z, Y, X, and A, or B. Most of the time, especially if you're a beginner, you're gonna be using just your X, Y, Z coordinates. A and B is gonna be for, you know, if you have a fourth axis or fifth axis machine. Now, as you can see, you also have the choice of choosing Z positive, Z negative, X positive, and X negative, and same for Y. This will only matter if you're holding down the button or going into jog mode. We'll do that a little later. Right now, all I want you to do is pick an axis. So you could pick either Z positive or negative. It really doesn't matter. And like Again, only if you're holding the button down or X. So we're just gonna go ahead and choose X. And the very next step is moving our handle jog dial. So now I'm just gonna move the dial. That way you guys get an idea of what 10 thou increments looks like. And now I'm going to go ahead and put it in 100 thou increments. And it looks about the same, but when you're touching off tools or you are indicating it apart, there is a big difference between 100 thou and 10 thou increment. And that's really as simple as it gets. Now, you do have the option of holding the button down and jogging in a specific direction, but you're not gonna need to do that until you at least understand the, the coordinate system of the machine, which way is positive, which way is negative. Um, and the jogging mode is also very dangerous. A lot of people, including myself, have been jogging in one axis and they accidentally hit the Z button and it starts jogging down into your vise. It, that could be with a fly cutter or a shell mill. I mean, it's very dangerous. So you need to understand how to, move, how to manipulate these buttons in order to move the machine to get it to the direction that you want it to go. And over time, you'll get used to it. And then from there, you can use the handle jog mode.